some of the folks on the chat of just, man, they're doubling down. You're all going to get screwed at that press conference today. You're not going to get Cody at WrestleMania. Well, you know what's funny? Well, we are going to get Cody at WrestleMania. Cody is going to finish his story at WrestleMania this year. And yes, DJ, yes, Lenny has been saying that all day today. Yes. He did not uh, learn from his lost quarters to doubt me in situations like this. Mm. But that's okay. He can apologize tomorrow. Well, one thing is for sure, whether Cody Rhodes finishes his story or not at WrestleMania, there is a significant amount of Dwayne washing going on. Oh, we'll get to Dwayne here in a moment. In, in both the creative end and the corporate end of this business. Lenny's doubling down here that it's going to be Cody versus uh, Seth. Man, can we just make this bet now, brother? I mean, it's only four hours. You only got to wait four hours to lose these quarters this time, dude. And he can apologize tonight because... Well, I don't know for sure, but what I'm trying to get here is uh, tonight, if I have my way, and if I don't have my way, you'll get the exclusive tomorrow, Mike. All right. And by the way, can you switch to the other channel? Sure. It's a horrible, we got a horrible buzz or something on that channel right there. But anyway, now he's not going to hear my announcement. Oh, well. Tonight at 4 o'clock Pacific 7 Eastern, it is the WWE press conference for WrestleMania at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. And for those of you unaware, we in fact do have a host that lives in Las Vegas. And that Mm -hmm. man is our own Filthy Tom Lawler. And Filthy Tom Lawler has not only agreed to go to this afternoon's event, but oh, he God. will be there as press. Is he paying the money? No, he is there as press. He is representing right. WrestlingObserver.com at this press really? conference. So he is going to get all of the scoops. And I'm going to try and get him on the Brian and Vinny show at the beginning of the show tonight, 9 Pacific, midnight Eastern. If not, you'll get the scoops tomorrow if he comes on this show, Mike. But he's going to tell us everything that happens when Cody gets added Somehow to the uh, World uh, WWE World Heavyweight Championship, whatever the title Roman has, I believe I'll tell you right now. I believe it's going to be a uh, some sort of of three way tournament type deal, similar to uh, WrestleMania 10. It's going to be uh, the Rock and Roman Reigns, and uh, they'll either I presume they'll say Cody Rhodes will face the winner, uh, but uh, Cody Rhodes and The Rock, or I'm sorry, and Roman Reigns. So how they do this, I don't know. I don't think they'll do two two matches on one show. I presume one one match will main event the uh, the Saturday show. The other match will main event the Sunday show. Yes, that would require Roman Reigns working twice. So, uh, which happens as often as you working on a Friday. The Rock had a message for some of Cody's fans on Thursday. Ahead of the press conference in Vegas, Rock appeared on the Pat McAfee show, addressed the drama surrounding the WrestleMania 40 main event. During the interview, he referred to some of Rhodes' fans as Cody crybabies. I have known Cody for a long time, he said. He's a buddy of mine. The American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, and my old man, Rocky Johnson. They were boys. They tag team together down in Florida. We used to go down to the Rhodes house a lot when I was growing up, so we're tight in that way. I love Cody. I love his passionate fans. Then there's the other passionate fans of Cody, and they're called the, what? Cody Crybabies. That's what they're called. It was the Cody Crybabies. These are grown-ass men. Oh, Cody had to finish his story. The Rock said, at the end of the day, look, you've got the Cody Crybabies, you have the Cody fans, and you have Cody himself. There's a clear distinction between the three. But The Rock says this. Those Cody crybabies, the ones for every 10 tweets, they're shoving a chicken McNugget in their mouth. For every 20 tweets, they're shoving two chicken McNuggets up their butt. The Rock says this. All you got to do is sit back, know your role, shut your mouth, enjoy the ride. The Rock is going to take your candy on. Try not to get Dom mad at me. Hashtag that. Hashtag shut your B.A.'s up. 
Hashtag Cody Crybabies. <laughs> you know what's funny is, uh, I don't know. Last night, my presumption was whatever they did tonight was going to be done to try to get The Rock over as, like, a baby face. But, uh, you know, clearly he's happy being hated. That's what it sounded like to me. Hey, as long as you're not paying attention to anything else besides the creative to WrestleMania and the WrestleMania event, that's all he cares about right now because as he's talking about fans shoving chicken nuggets in their mouth and how many of them they're doing that, He's the one who opened up his pockets and shoved $30 million of stock into it and jumped on a board of a, a place that, well, needed some Dwayne washing. Not that I'm really trying to push that phrase or anything like that, but again, we'll see what happens tonight at this absolute spectacle of a press conference they got coming up here in Vegas. And obviously there is paid access at this event where people may be asking questions and We'll see how all of this stuff plays out, but bottom line is he's there to serve two purposes. It is to try to distract you and to try to help right the ship and become Ari and Mark and certainly his good friend Nick Khan's, you know, Vince McMahon now. You know, the face of WWE, one of the faces of TKO going forward now is going to be everyone's favorite, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And then obviously him inserting himself into the creative aspect of things, getting his WrestleMania match against Roman Reigns. So we'll see how these things collide tonight at this press conference and we'll see what happens moving forward. But whatever you do, don't look over here, you know, advert your eyes over here. Just worry about what's happening with Cody and all these crybaby fans and will he finish his story or not? Well, I think it's possible also that... Uh... I don't know. Here, listen. Here's my thing. Okay, if you're gonna do the uh, the Rock and Roman Reigns, and you're gonna do, you know, Cody and the winner or whatever, here's the thing. If if what you need is is Roman is the guy wrestling twice, so he needs to be a heel, and the other two need to be baby faces, because you want to have a, a Brock Lesnar. Roman Reigns situation in that Rock Roman match where they're both hated heels. I don't think you want that. I think that what you want is Roman Reigns to be the heel, Rock to be the baby face, and then Cody to be the baby face on the other day. I mean, I I don't know, man. That guy's got a lot of confidence. This Rock's got a lot of confidence. If he's going to go all in on being a heel for his last match and go heel versus heel with Roman Reigns at WrestleMania, a WrestleMania traveling yeah, hardcore crowd. Do you think it'll be his last match? And I don't know what his movie project schedule is, but think about it. You still got a whole lot to be hashed out when it comes to the table and it comes to that part of the storyline where it comes to will we get Tamatanga come in? Will we get what is happens with Jimmy and Jay, especially if they wrestle at this event? You know, will The Rock talk about, you know, maybe they should be back together? What's going to happen with Solo? Will there be an ascension out of him? How does he play into this? So I think there's a lot of moving parts that way as well, too, where do we see The Rock one more time, maybe in a tag situation where it is all family going at each other at some point maybe that not only does he get his last wrestlemania match against roman maybe that's when you get saudi's money being ponied up or something like that and he works that event as well hey if you love this clip have i got a deal for you wrestlingobserver.com do you have a commute do you work out at the gym do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute... As noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, 
full access to the Wrestling Observer Newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. You also get Observer archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. Thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. Tens of thousands of hours of audio. All for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never, you'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again after a while.